the discriminant of a quadratic equation is the part of the quadratic formula that is under the radical. And because it's under a radical, that tells us something about the types of solutions and how many solutions we'll get. So if we calculate just the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, what we'll look for is to see, is it positive, is it equal to zero, or is it negative? So this gives us three possibilities. When the discriminant is positive, you can take the square root of it, and you get two real unequal solutions. So there's always going to be two solutions to a quadratic equation, always. Because we start off with x squared, that's the highest degree, there are two solutions somehow. But when our discriminant is positive, we have two real solutions that are not equal to each other. Now, when the discriminant is equal to zero, we get what's called one real solution of multiplicity two, which really just means we get the same solution twice. So maybe in our first example, we wound up um, with two solutions and they were three and negative six. That can happen. In this case, maybe we would get negative three, but then the second one is also going to be negative three as well. So we really only consider that one solution, and um, we just say it's of multiplicity two to basically acknowledge the fact that it, it does show up twice. Now, what if the discriminant is negative? Right now I'm saying no real solutions. So that seems to go against what I just said, which was that there are always two solutions, and now I'm saying no solutions. But I'm really saying no real solutions. So we have not talked yet about imaginary numbers, and that's coming up in the next section. So hence the spoiler alert. So I'm about to spoil the next section. So when we get to the next section, all of a sudden we're going to say, oh, no, oh, just kidding. So um, we're going to have two complex solutions. And so that's where our two solutions are going to come in. But for right now, in your 1.3 homework, you're going to say, oh, no real solutions. I have no idea what's coming up. Nobody told me anything. All right, so just between you and me and all the people on YouTube. Okay, so now let's take a look at a couple of examples and see what happens with this discriminant. Now here is basically the template from my math lab. This is what the problems will look like when you're computing the discriminant. So it says compute the discriminant determine the number and type of solutions of the given equation. I like to, when I'm working with the quadratic equation, quadra sorry, quadratic, well, a quadratic equation or the quadratic formula, I like to write out a, which is 1, b, which is negative 5, and this is the reason why, because I always look at it and I just go 5, and it's really important. So I just write this out every single time for the last um, many years that I've been teaching. And let's see, so we've got b squared minus 4ac is what we're looking for. So negative 5 squared minus 4 times a times c. And this gives us negative 5 squared is 25 and a negative 4 times a negative 8 is a plus 32. No, I don't, well, I, I guess I care a little about what the discriminant is, but at this point I know it's positive, and that's mainly what I care about. But they ask me what the discriminant is, so I care, you know, um, halfway what it is. Got me my answer. And now, what are the number and type of solutions of this quadratic equation? Well, I can eliminate one real solution because that would be if we got zero as an answer. There are an infinite number of real solutions. 
no, because that's never a thing for quadratic equations. So just get rid of that one. Two unequal real solutions. Yes, cha-ching, we have a winner. And two imaginary solutions. What do you mean? We haven't talked about those yet. So that's definitely out, and also we already found our answer. So that's how we do this one. Oops. Let's find our next. Uh, ah, there we go. Okay, here we go. So here's our next equation. Hold on. Okay, so in this one, I have. Sorry, I hit the screen there for a second. So I have a equals 6, b equals negative 1, and c equals 11. And so we'll calculate b squared minus 4 times a times c. Okay, so I have negative 1 squared, which is 1 minus 4 times 6 is 24, and 24 times 11 is 264. 1 minus 264 gives me a negative 263, which is definitely negative. So what is my discriminant? All right, I'm not going to move it over there. You get the idea. So that, that's my discriminant. And then what type of solutions do I have? Oh, dear. Okay, so they cheated again, and they said two imaginary solutions. So there we go. So we're going with two imaginary solutions instead of saying no real solution. So there is a good thing I give you that spoiler. All right, let's take a look at one more. And in this one, we have a equals 4 b equals negative 14, and c equals 49. So b squared, negative 14 squared, minus 4 times a times c. And let's see, what does this turn into? So 14 squared is... Clearly, 196, oops, I put it underneath, equals 196 minus, and then 4 times 4 times 49 is 196, and so this equals 0. All right, so my discriminant is 0, and that tells me there is one real solution. And if they said of multiplicity two, I'd be even happier, but uh, we're just gonna go with one real solution. That's all they've got. 